All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time. Today we're going to try to get through both DLCs, uh, since I didn't record yesterday, so that'll be kind of good. So uh, yeah, welcome to Special One, The Writer, which I believe was released um, a couple of months after the original game came out. And obviously it's a story continuation, so this will be pretty good. Existing checkpoint, yes. What? We're not going to read that? What the hell? Uh, let's quit to menu. There's no voice acting. That's really weird. <laughs> what the fuck? Does it... Are we good? Alright, let me let me reboot the game. That I don't think that's supposed to happen. That's probably a result of resuming. Oops. There you go. We'll, we'll reboot it. As you probably should, admittedly. Didn't expect that to happen. That's really weird. If it happens again, I'll see if it, it's happening for the other episodes. Maybe it's just this episode in particular is like really weird about it. Unique. Okay. Yeah, what the hell? Why is the... Okay. The signal. Previously <laughs> okay, <away>. holy shit. <laughs> Something I only know is the Dark Presence held my wife captive and used her to make me write a horror story that came true. I'll bring her back. Some part of me had I'll bring been aware her back. to write my her. escape into the story. Yeah, thanks to the help of Zane, we're able to do it. I saved Alice, then wrote a better ending for the story. But not without a price. I was trapped somewhere in the dark place, a strange zone somewhere beyond our world. It's not a lake. It's an it's ocean. ocean. Special feature one, yeah. The postseason bullshit, I love it. After the completion of any difficult undertaking, there are mixed emotions. Accomplishment and relief. Sadness. Yeah, depression. I'll agree with sadness, that's for, for sure. While, everything was about the work. Like an illness that consumed you. Changed you. You locked yourself away from the world to do it, and now you need to recover. Learn to live without it. Find a way to crack open the door and let the light back in. I knew this place. It was familiar. But wrong somehow. Well, it's still the oh dear diner. Welcome to the Oh uh, yeah, the everything had a surreal, dreamlike quality. I can't believe it. I had a disturbing feeling of deja vu. I had no idea. It was the worst thing I could think of. I had been before this moment. But something was waiting for me at the back of the diner. Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love. Cause it'll break your heart when you oh, I love this. They're all distorted. Is no longer human. <laughs> Nothing but black coffee oh, and shit. Layer of skin. Yeah, he's glitching out too. Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. <laughs> Number six in the jukebox. Also, you could hear I that. I don't know if we can we go in here. Yeah, so that that's an alarm clock. That's one of the uh collectibles for this there you go yeah lime in the coconut yeah it's a shame the dark presence probably caused their dementia from drinking the moonshine when you really think about it it probably messed with them because they're artists as well but writers just weren't were, were just better and hilariously enough alan kind of has too in a way Sounds like a Pikmin remix. <laughs> Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I'll be fine. Okay. Oh, we're going in now? Uh oh. That's different. Uh, Alan, here we go. There's a TV in the restroom. What? Focus. You're losing yourself. I will try to help the best I can, but it's up to you. Find a better point of contact. What do you mean? I cannot hear you. Please, you're the one making all this happen. Concentrate. This is what's happening. Nightmares. Oh! Too deep. 
I love the slow motion, man. Wake found himself face to face with himself. It was nightmarish. <laughs> to myself, the dream suddenly became lucid. The dark place. That's Mira was here. You will need weapons. Oh, thanks, God. It's not the light itself, but what it represents. You will need it. And a gun. You know, just a revolver. This is not a gun. It is a tool in a logical process of elimination. He's just giving us the concepts of weapons and flashlights. They're not actually real. I understand Zane's message. And knowing where I was didn't fix anything. Something had gone wrong after I had finished departure. Uh, now that self-opening doors are creepy, man. Uh-oh. This door, can I go in here now? Then the door was smashed off its hinges? Oh, there we go. That one. Oh, shit. There's a guy here? Are you serious? That's what I mean. This this DLC is hard, man. I'm dead. Dude, this DLC is way harder. Holy shit, I forgot how fucking hard this was. Can I run down the right side? Yeah, there's nothing here. Okay, I didn't have to trap myself there. This is gone now. Yeah, so you, I think what you do is you run over here and then you run back down the hall so you don't get surrounded. Yeah, this is what you do. I remember this. Alright, now we just chill. <laughs> and like, yeah, he'll push towards you, but you have more than enough flashlight to kill him. No, no, he, he was—he already peeked around. Can't give him a new intro after he already peeked around, bro. Okay. Can finally stop that ticking. Zane, wait for me. The world had become twisted. These trees didn't belong here. Oh fuck me! This already. Oh shit, I thought this guy was another one. Dude, you get super comboed. Oh my god. Yeah, this is way harder. Holy shit, this is just normal mode too. Wow, this is actually hard as shit. Wait for me. The world had become twisted. These trees. Maybe just run through this. No, I don't know. That's, that doesn't seem very safe. What? Pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> See, the thing is, the light doesn't stun them at all. So it's not... See, like, now I don't have anything. He got stuck again. <laughs> I'm out of ammo. Wow, there's not enough ammo. Yeah, I think you are just supposed to run through. Never mind. There you go. <laughs> okay, I don't know if he follows me in here. We could pray for a miracle, I guess. Oh, you know how creepy it would be if there was a dude looking through there? That would be like a modern day jump scare. There you go. I knew it was my writing, but the words were jumbled dreamlike fragments. Oh, so nothing different. Frantically. 
The rounds of slippery just stone was thrown away from the tent. The bed looked inviting, but it was just the radio. I had to go on. She was startled by the phone. The phone. The GPS system was working. I hadn't expected that. All right. Hello? I'm trying to reach you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Yes, God. Listen, I can help you, but you're drifting deeper. I can't reach you. You must come to me. I can't maintain the connection. Use the words. Follow the signal. Yeah, so the way that this works is all these words from the last chapter, you could just shine on them and create things. Any satellite was in range here. These were alien skies, but it was guiding me towards something. Towards... There you go. So now I get the heavy duty. Flare gun. <laughs> and I think I recharge his batteries. Yep. Lithium, which is four. I mean, you gotta kind of like that. That's pretty cool. So, like, he's writing everything that's happening around us, and we're basically, like, injecting these words in while his mind is all over the place. And that's, like, one of the cool mechanics of the Dark Place that's only really explored at the very end of Chapter 6. Oh, look. Again. The nice. Dark Place was playing tricks on me. It wouldn't stay still. Excellent. Uh, so which cars? <laughs> that could be bad. Yeah, see, it's locked now. The cars flew towards him. Oh, I actually got a couple. It doesn't count because we're, you know, we're in a cutscene. Holy shit. God damn. Can't move. <laughs> this just looks so wrong. The funny thing is, is that if they land out of bounds, they instantly die. All right, well, I got one. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, you'll find that this is going to be way harder than the original. Because before I was floating on batteries and stuff. Not anymore, like... They, they, they basically made this for, like, the hardcore Alan Wake players, which is, like, a very weird way to say it, but they, they made it for people who really liked this game and really wanted more, so they gave it an extra layer of challenge. As opposed to, you know, just more of the same, oh, you just have a bunch of weapons by the end of every chapter, you know, you're just tanking through everything, like, yeah, this is hard. It's more like knowing how every scenario you need to approach it, basically. Oh, do we have to find all the cardboard cutouts? I think that's also a collectible. Oh, I didn't realize the door was haunted. Yeah, maybe you fire the flare at the door. Okay. Tools. <laughs> Until you get past, you don't... What? Hi. Oh, God. It's a little bit nuts. Oh, 
Oh, of course it's a big guy. Yeah, you, you can dodge it. It's just very hard. Ow. <laughs> Dude, every encounter is so insane. <laughs> every single one. <laughs> They're like, okay, well, every encounter before is open-ended. You know, there's a lot of space here. It's like, yeah, we're, they're all claustrophobic. There you go. Everything I saw was familiar, and yet it wasn't. Odin Anderson, the All-Father. Hello. I cannot keep up. You're going too deep. I will try to guide you. Follow the signal. I'm trying. You must face yourself. Follow me. Yeah, we'll have headaches constantly. But yeah, they have these. It's like, you know, stuff showing that what may or may not be happening in the real world. But the ships yeah. were interfering with it. I had to keep trying. I wouldn't survive alone. So Barry creates like a, a hit reality series with them. I don't know if he actually does or if that's just a figment of Alan's imagination based off of something that he told him. But even if it is, that, that's kind of cool, you know? I don't think the Alan Wake cutout is an interactable, though. Go back. He vault this? No. Slightly too high for Alan. Okay. We don't just push in here, do we? Oh, that looks like such a kick prompt. It's this one. Okay, maybe it isn't. Maybe I'll just be lost forever. The changes were becoming more violent. The street wasn't so much ripped apart as it was missing. Like some great hand had reached down and scooped it up. Everything felt erratic, unstable. Okay, which is why we have tools. I mean, we say tools, it's really just a bunch of ammo. But you know what, I'll take it. Flash and flare. Okay, they give you one flashbang and two flares. Yeah, we're not going to be running around with seven flashbangs and 14 flares this time. We, uh, we're really on our own, huh? And then he wrote only one flashbang into Alan's inventory. Yeah, and here's where we start to get crows mixing with all other kinds of enemies as well. Which apparently they're not. Good fucking god. almost like survival horror a little bit with so few resources so they kind of remixed it into like a completely different genre still an action game obviously there's still plenty of ammo for like like i barely had to use anything in my revolver i can imagine on nightmare mode this is insane i don't think you have to play the dlcs on nightmare mode though to get all the achievements i think you just have to play it on you can play it on easy i guess You have to beat it without dying, and I think beat it in a certain amount of time. So that wouldn't be too terrible, I guess. Was there an easy mode in the original? I don't think so. I think that's something new for this version. I, I could have sworn it was only normal and nightmare. Uh oh. Alan, where are you? Look, I I'm trying to follow your goddamn signal. The dark place is playing tricks on you. You're still going deep. I'm trying to guide you, but it's hard. 
What is this? I can help you if you just <laughs> Just stop fucking spiraling, dude. What? This is bullshit. It's happening again. Brace yourself. Uh-oh. I was running after Zane, and he was telling me I was going too deep. It was ridiculous, but I was more scared than amused. I felt like I was being hindered by an unseen force in ways I couldn't fight. All I could do was keep going. Okay, is it this? Yeah, we, we hopped the alley. There's something over here? No. Alright. Yeah, I remember this. This is a common kill spot. Yeah, I remember this. This is a kill spot right here. Because these dudes show up behind you. You might not even have enough ammo after the last fight. Yes, a bunch of dudes show up here. Alright, this I remembered. Because I've, I've died here before. Not that bad. Yeah, they want what they want you to do is to run forward and then everyone surrounds you and beats the shit out of you. And as you see in this game, you have no iframes. It's not like you get hit and then you could just like walk off damage or something for a little bit. You just get hit until you die in this game. Would you believe that Alan Wake is like hyper realistic in that one regard and that regard only? Charge. Flare gun. And if you're wondering, well, why can't Alan just write himself a billion powers? Um, that's explained. I remember this. This happened before we found Barry. Uh, but it wasn't this bad, I don't think. <laughs> Dude, I love this. I love that they recorded that. That's so funny. I'm sorry, are there enemies here as well? Okay, it landed out of bounds, so it, l it let me escape, basically. Hmm. I wonder if I could get away with doing this. I actually can. Very nice. I wonder if the strategy is just to use the flare gun in, like, one or two fights, and then just use it to blow open doors. That could also be the strategy with it. Like, you're not actually using it for, like, all enemies. You're using it to quickly open doors that otherwise you would have to spend multiple minutes trying to, or, you know, multiple seconds opening. Oh, shit, the deer. Oh, dear indeed. Just like that. And then the truck broke into pieces. <laughs> it's cool that like all this stuff that you see in the game actually shows up in the DLC. And, like actually is like something, you know? That's kind of funny. We need the key, so we have to defeat them. Run for it! Wait, is that a page? Or is that just a really bright light? No, that's just really good lighting. There are pages, I think, in this, right? Yeah. Wait, can you not reach the manuscript page from here? 
No, what the fuck? They never added that as a menu option? You have to push back specifically. And I'm, I guess I haven't found any pages. That other one was just a story element. Yeah, may, are there pages in this thing? Are there pages? Uh, maybe there aren't. No, maybe. I, I guess there aren't. Yeah, there's six cardboard standees and then nine more alarm clocks. I don't know if they're spread out between this and the next DLC, but something like that. Yeah. Okay, never mind. The world was... It was changing. Twisting. Out of control. It was too big on the inside. He couldn't see the ceiling. Something was moving in there. He was lost. He couldn't find the exit. That sounds like another day in Alan Wake's life. <laughs> oh, yeah, the crypt. Oh, this is great. <laughs> the shifts were getting more severe. I wasn't sure if the place got bigger. Oh, we're supposed to use these when enemies show up. Oh my god. Alright, well no one spawned behind me. That's pretty good. I didn't mean to do that. I had the key open instead of the actual gun. Yes, it's, it's not a flare gun, it's a key. I don't even know I killed them all. Sure. Ah. You gotta be careful where you point this. Ah, oh, he didn't even go to it. <laughs> That's really hard to land then. Ah, uh, shit. Apparently there's lock on in this game, which I did not know. Like, if you press LT, he'll, like, lock on like that. I did not know that that was even a thing. Okay, maybe I will need the key. <laughs> we have to use it as a weapon for a little bit. Is there another one? No, okay. Oh, no, hold on. Wait. It makes me wonder, like, if you could just use flares and, like, really well-timed equipment to just get through here without having to use any batteries and anything else. Definitely possible if you know all the encounters. So, like, some of them are easy, right? Like, this doesn't, this didn't seem that hard, other than, you know, me almost dying. Like, this is pretty straightforward, even without hitting them with the furnaces and stuff. You know, like, you could just bait them. Zane left me a page. He was trying to help me. Are these only, like, cutscenes? Yeah, I think so. Best seller. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> the sudden stop. Here we go. Friend. Oh, yeah, I think friend is the one you're supposed to do. Wall. A tremor. What is this? Scream? Here we go. It's fake Barry. Barry? Hey, bestseller! Found someone to help you. You, you, you're not real. Well, no shit. What gave me away? What the see-through thing? 
I'm a figment of your imagination. Just like pretty much everything else you see here. Maybe even you. That's insane. Yeah, you're right. Everything that happened before made perfect sense, but this is insane. Good catch, Al. Okay. Okay, look, I gotta get going. The GPS. The GPS, yeah, I know. Follow this. Yeah, I can read. It's it. right there. <laughs> he just disappears. That's your helper. So, anywho, I'm here to help you. The thing is, you need to get a grip. All right? You nag the way the real Barry does. You know that? Yeah, it's a spot on imitation. You know, yeah. Fair. It's not my fault you think I'm annoying. I don't think you're annoying. Ah, babe, relax. It's cool. Just try to stay on the ball here. You need to do what Zane tells you. He's been here for ages. He's like the expert. Wait, flashlight? Oh, the lantern. Holy shit, okay. There you go. Not playing around. <laughs> if this is insane, and it's all from your mind, what's that say about you? Fine, enough. I can't believe I was actually happy to see you. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't shit a shitter, Al. I think the signal's pointing towards that thing in the distance. Me. Yeah, that'd be the Biltmore Sawmill. How the hell do you know? Do we that? ever go there? I don't know anything you don't. I don't know, so yeah. Why don't you ask yourself that? Huh? Maybe you saw a sign for it back in the real world, or maybe it's the sawmill, because I said it's the sawmill. Yeah, he planted the idea. Fantastic. Some inception, thanks. Maybe there was yeah, a sign for it, actually. Be That'd be interesting. Right? Do you have a headache? Barry. Dude, we're bonding. Boom. <laughs> and you have. I guess the pen is mightier. If you complete that sentence, you're fired. Mightier than the sword. You're fired. No. Oh. Alright, so obviously we use the big boom on these guys. That might count towards the indirect means uh, thing as well. Because I don't think... I think that counts. That's something else killing them. It's not you. Okay. <laughs> They're not even human. There they are. You know... What? I have a bullet in it. Shoot. Alright, well, he missed. Where? I have no idea. I just didn't play the thing. Okay. Oh, shit! <laughs> They were here! I'm just trying to make sure there's none behind me. That's all. Fireworks? What does this do? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it insta kills. No, it insta reveals them. Okay. Right, well, I'd like to get out of here, please. <laughs> Not my first rodeo, cowboy. All right, I gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I like that. You really don't get to use the lantern enough. So, this is fun. What? You're in here? You're not supposed to be in here. Oh, yeah, the words hurt you. I forgot about that. Oh, my God! Help!
A little overkill. Turret. That's not a turret. Unless I read that word wrong. There you go. I've never been more glad to see one of you. You just have to focus on it. You don't have to actually control, uh, boost it that much. I need a bridge. Okay, well, kind of in order, I guess, right? Ah, so this is the way things should be. I give advice, and you follow. That's when things go right. You get up to something on your own, that's when the trouble starts. Here you go, Cynthia Weaver. Lady of the Light, the cloud of gloom in the well-lit room. Come up with first. Big mint. Remember? This kind of thing could drive a man insane. It already has. Oh, this is great! And is probably therapeutic for you too. Did that fall off? I hope not. I hope we, I hope it doesn't just like fall down and just fall off. Oh no. The landscape. <laughs> his books common and discarded. Like mud beneath his feet. Hardbacks. Paperbacks turned against him. Trash. Just cheap trash. Yeah, his writing was never good. Transmissions of myself before, but not like this. The version of myself I saw now oh, sounds shit. insane. Like a demented storyteller who was out to torment and destroy his protagonist. Yeah, like we're we're not even writing anything coherent anymore. We're just writing whatever. Because as we know, we have the power to write reality, especially in the dark place. Oh no! Okay. I did not mean to do that. Yeah, the lock on feature is going to get me screwed here. Oh, it's, it's books. <laughs> it's a swarm of books. All right, so what they want you to do here is to accidentally start triggering all these. Ow, come on. You gotta be careful. Those are bad words. Nothing I can do. I gotta go. I mean, honestly, you don't even take that much damage from the flying books. It's actually better. Just, just soak the hits. Why, why would I start throwing stuff and using flares? Yeah, fuck that. Let's just keep going. Oh, there's a cliff! Okay, maybe it hurts a little bit too much. Just a little bit. Good God. Okay, maybe this was a mistake. Okay, that... Might have been a slight mistake. I should have hit the light first and then gone back for it. That was a mistake. Because I could have broken it from over here. But whatever. I got through without triggering any enemies. So it all works out. Oh no. Yeah, I'm grinning. Look at my teeth. Mm. Uh, yeah, this, uh, this doesn't look right. <laughs> okay, this is just too weird. You're weird. Barry, is all this really coming out of my head? It's just the way this place is, Al. All that random stuff in your head. Imagination. <laughs> but you're from my imagination. Yeah, yeah. You know what, Al? Do you something famous? Yeah, uh-oh. <laughs> it's only gonna get worse the more you think about that. 
So yeah, everything that you think of, whether it's coherent or not, will come back to bite you in the in the dark place. It makes all your imagination real. Good fucking god. Yeah, having two flares here instead of zero would be huge, but sadly I don't have any. They, <laughs> they really walked under that, didn't they? I feel like that barely even hit me. Yeah, I don't have any flares here. Ah! Oh wow, that wasn't the checkpoint. Here we go, I made it. <laughs> Somehow against all odds, I made it again. <laughs> okay. But I had to use all my keys. Oh no, there's a driving segment! <laughs> they really hate you. You need to get that door open before you can get into the warehouse. That's the way forward! If I'm making this up, why is it so complicated? Because you're a complicated man, and no one understands you. <laughs> but I'm talking... Very... And he just disappears, damn. Oh my god! Uh, I can't move. I'm, I'm literally bound to this fucker. Wow, that's not supposed to happen. Oh my god. <laughs> oh nice, there's multiple. That's my way back. A pump. Pump shotgun. I mean, technically now, we could just make a break for it, right? Oh, wow. <laughs> but, you know, I feel like there's got to be something here, too. Why did I get out? Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> Why did I even get out? I feel like there's something over there in that corner, though. Maybe I should actually go back for that. What do you think? I'm thinking that if I could just get past this truck, that'd be great. Except now he's gonna plow me in here. Never mind. No, it's just another car. Okay. Yeah, that actually happened to me. I told that story a while ago. I was in a... We went go-karting and I bit the shit out of my tongue. And I couldn't eat any hot foods for like a week. That was a long time ago. It must have been six or seven. Maybe eight. Oh, I didn't open this, did I? Yeah, that's why none of the things flew at me. And these guys are all here. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Called it. Ah. 
All right, let me push the button. Because I think these guys respawn infinitely. And if not, there, there's going to be more in a second. <laughs> okay. Yeah, see, I need a flare or a flashbang or a flare gun shot, and I don't have any. So now I kind of end up in this situation where I have to, like, enter the garage while being pursued. And there's, like, ten guys in there as well. I don't know. Maybe I could just drive through. Maybe you don't even have to get out. Hi. <laughs> I mean, you know what? This actually worked out in, like, some really weird angle. Because they can't even reach me up here. See? I'm completely safe. Yeah, they, they couldn't even get to me. Nice. That was possibly the most ghetto thing I've done this whole playthrough. See, like, they want you to, to dip and weave and stuff, but, like, you have to remember, Alan is not that athletic. Like, he's not that mobile. So, like, yeah, you could, like, try to duck in there and, like, try to funnel them. I just think it's easier to just use the car. Especially since you know you can't blow up in this game. Like, definitely. Like, a lot, like, most other games, especially in this era, like, if a car takes enough damage, it just blows up. You know? Like, like that's it. It doesn't just shut down. It, it just explodes with you in it. Whereas in this game, you, you, that can't happen. You you automatically are just forced out of the car. Okay. Red box. Flare. And hunt? I don't know. That seems like another bad word. I don't know if I want to push that one. What does he even do? Oh, the hunting rifle. Yeah, but I like the pump shotgun, especially if I'm actually going to play this. Like, you could just farm chapter six if you need to get hunting rifle kills. Maybe there's another really easy place to do it as well that I just don't know about. No, you, for, you can't do it through that. Hey, what are you up to? Uh oh. I thought this was my side of the bed. Well, I'm invading it. Yeah, that's it. The briefest of memories, just remembering the good times, you know. He entered the trap, <laughs> surrounded by enemies. Oh no! Shit! Run. I'm so sick of you. you back him off the cliff? Probably not. Yeah, no. He's not that stupid. Come on. Dude, Sadler needed motherfuckers like this throwing axes. Are you kidding me? Leon would have been long dead. These guys just don't miss. Again, I think most traps in this game, it's better to just double back. Try to force yourself past whatever's, you know, standing right there. We climbed the ladder, and then the demons were upon him. They were bloodthirsty. There was nowhere to run. And you do like a close up of my eye, like looking all over the place. <laughs> 
it's the small things, you know? And, and they're aware of that, which is why this is so good. It's the small things. Okay. Nothing. Oh. That's never a good sound. Is I hate it? you. No. No, it isn't. What is that? Just another lantern? You get batter. Heavy duty lantern? Oh, there's a new one. Oh. I don't want to go in there. <laughs> of course, you just spawn out of nowhere. Complete bullshit. Survives a shotgun blast as well. Where is he? God damn. <laughs> well, at least all he could do is push you. He can't actually swing, so that's fine. Nice. Yeah, the first one was really free. Um, okay, it's on the other side. First one was free. This one, the rest of them aren't so much. Probably one way out in the woods again in the middle of nowhere, you know? But, you know, I'm glad that they have DLCs like this in games, you know? It's always fun when you, if you like a game that there's more content for it. What? Never going to complain about that, you know? Hi. Hi! Oh my god! <laughs> Where did he come from? Dude, uh, there's guys all around me. Luckily, it's no big dudes, you know? And luckily, there's no shrapnel that you get hit by when those things explode. I think the dust in this place is setting off my allergies. You're not even really there. Well, my allergies are definitely... See? Allergies. Great. Well, we imagined him back with everything good and everything bad, so... But that's exactly how it should be, right? You wouldn't want to, like, cheap out. What if it changes who he is? Okay. Well, we fucked him up. I'll tell you that much. Maybe once you go down here, they can't follow you anyway. So if you're really good, you drop the flare, you blow the stuff up, and then they can't do anything. <laughs> Stop it! They're waiting for us downstairs. We don't have time. For oh, that just means we have all the time. They're I waiting. She really here. Anyway, but she still made my heart ache. I had saved Dallas, but I wasn't even sure when that happened. Was it days ago? Weeks? Longer? I had no way of knowing. Yeah. I mean, at least he, he's done the right thing. Now he can just fight to survive, basically. That's pretty much how it's going. That was his whole goal, you know? Who is this? Alice Wake. Wow. 
The writer's muse, the round. Yeah, well, we definitely don't know if this is actually happening or not. So I guess I missed the other person. The uh, There's probably what? The two Odin brothers, Alice Wake, Cynthia Weaver we found. Who else? Sheriff Breaker and uh, the diner lady Rose, I guess. Either that or Nightingale has to be somewhere in there because there's only six cutouts. Anything back here? No. That looks crazy dangerous, Al. I know. That's why I'm doing it. I live for the thrill. Oh, shit. <laughs> Well, I tried to fucking uh, climb. Are you invincible while climbing? They disappear, yeah. If you could get to a ladder, they can't do anything to you. Okay, that's very interesting. So if you could just run to that ladder, you're safe. Hey, lover. Come here. I've got something for you. Uh oh. I can only hope that Alice was <laughs> alright. I didn't know what happened to her after she left the dark place. I mean, luckily she could swim, right? You know, like, suck if we tried to Zane. save her and she died. She drowns instead. That would be just as grim. Hey, hold that pose. That was a good one. Like this? Yeah, but smile a little more. No, that's too much. You want to look mysterious. Maybe a little tough. You know how people go for those dangerous bad boys. But I'm not dangerous. Oh, come on. You write about terrible things all the time. <laughs> you that you're intimately familiar with them. You kill Casey in this book. You need to look a little bit like a murderer. I mean, that oh, is true, yeah. Do that again. You look handsome. Even though that's not what he was wearing yeah, in the I actual sure box art, or the cutout. Was wrong. It looks good on you. In the okay. cutout, he's wearing, like, all black, you know? Right. I want to get out of this suit. Hey, things are looking up. <laughs> Guess danger is sexy. <laughs> that was when I was still working. When I felt like a real writer instead of a fraud. It was a good memory. I wished I hadn't seen it. Yeah, not right now. That was a good time. And always great to be reminded of good times and bad times, you know? I think it's below me. Right? It's not like in here. Yeah, I think it's below me. Oh, no. I mean, imposter syndrome is real for some people. Can you go back? It's actually really interesting. I like how they blended together all these environments, you know? It's kind of cool. There you go. We know who it is. It's Zane. Alan, you made it. This area of the dark place is calmer, at least for the time being. We can talk here, but we don't have much time. Zane, how do I get out of here? That's what you face. That's you. Yourself, That's yeah. Me. Your real self. Darkness. Darkness coming. Swept him away. Lost. He knew. He knew. He couldn't hold on. He knew there was no way out. Oh, no, I'm right here. Oh, Zane. That's not me. It's wrong. just, I don't know, an echo, a hallucination, the dark no, presence. The dark presence is not responsible for this. You are making this happen. You're trapped in your own nightmares. You are fighting yourself. Yeah, that's just me. Wake didn't understand it. <laughs> he would never make it. He would never wake up. He'd get swallowed up in the rock. 
rising tide of darkness. It was coming. It was coming. It was coming. Ah! <laughs> ah! No, Ellen must be swept away by the gathering insanity. Sam was gone. <laughs> Wait, could feel the pressure gnawing at his mind. The darkness wasn't so bad. It was in him. He felt it. He knew the voice spoke the truth. It was just too hard to think. He can't. Couldn't make sense of it. Couldn't. He wanted to go with the flow. Stop thinking and just let go. Let go. Is this the finale of this? Maybe it is. I actually have no idea. Uh, okay. Well, this is gonna be good. <laughs> Especially if you have to start by falling down. That's how you know it's only gonna get better. Ah, uh, there's ammo and stuff here. No, please don't knock this down. Wow, okay, they can push stuff through that. I guess you shouldn't do that. What? Oh my god, where did you come from? Really? I mean, that's totally true as well. Oh, that killed me? Oh, I had no health. It wasn't just black and white because it was dark. Yeah, so maybe you have to use flares and just use the heavy duty lantern. I guess that makes a little more sense. Yeah, because this doesn't... That's why. This doesn't stop them from throwing items. I forgot that's how this works. They, they can just throw items as much as they want. I lost all my health right away. Holy shit. <laughs> what? What is it? Oh, it's a barrel. I'm definitely dead. Hard to figure out what you actually need to target. Okay. What? I just killed him here. What the fuck? Maybe it's just infinite respawns and they instantly respawn. I'm spooked now. Yeah, see, they, there's not even anything for him to... Well, I guess he could have jumped from up top. like there's enemies who oh there you go uh there was two okay this is a lot harder than i really need to do i have flare gun by any chance because if i have flare gun i can probably just skip this no i don't they don't give you any flare gun for the actual finale okay that's good to know you need to save it for earlier yeah, I think if you could sacrifice flares, but you can't sacrifice flare gun. Because you, you kind of need it. If I had flare gun, I could... I literally could not get to him in time. This is a very interesting scenario. <laughs> That's a very interesting scenario. He just ran around the other side. Okay. I, I will not be wasting my flare gun and my flashbangs like this ever again. Because you have to kill this stuff first. Oh, hi. Nice. There 
right here. We don't really need ammo. I need batteries. What? It's the same dude coming down over and over again. <laughs> he's trying to land on something that isn't there. He's holding out his hand for bracing. And that's why I don't want to go forward just yet. something there we go yeah I think you are supposed to just kind of sit back here it's just when these guys spawn you have to kill them fast it doesn't really al alert you every time one of them spawns either You know why? Because you get tons of breathing room, so you can actually do stuff back here. Very nice. Who's this dude? You can't show up now, the fight's over. No, he really is here. <laughs> I came all this way, I gotta say hi. I think that's it, though, right? You don't do the tornado in this one, I don't think. Uh, or maybe not. That was just the warm-up. to destroy the boat before it presses you up. Yeah. What? What? I I killed the boat. The boat was invisible and it pushed me off. Okay. So you have to be super careful about how you do that. You have to wait for the boat to completely stop and disappear and like actually unload. There was no boat there to push me off. Well, that was interesting. And that's the kind of death I would be pissed at if I was trying to go no deaths. The boat is actually just physically not there. Yeah, see, like, the outline is still there and it's still coming, but... Okay. But no one had abandoned him to die. But that's how he feels. He feels alone. Alright. There you go. <laughs> there you go, Alan. Hartman. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Really, way, really, way. Come on, your delusions are your delusions. They're just in your head. You couldn't cope with your wife's death. Why is this happening to me? Why is this happening to me? Lodge. 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 
So what you find out is he actually went insane. After the end of episode six, he couldn't find a way out. He went insane. There you go, and that's it. Yeah, as you can see, they like I said during the main game, they up the difficulty something fierce for the DLCs. But like I said, it's for the hardcore Alan Wake uh, gamer. You know, someone who really likes the game, really into the story, really likes the everything about it. But like, they try to address a little bit of the major criticisms of the game, which is that most of the game is in a forest, right? Like you see those early couple of chapters in Alan Wake are literally all just what? Like set in the forest as you're running around and doing stuff. You know, it's pretty much the same thing done for the first three chapters and then like the last chapter part of it, you know? So that's one of the things, like this is a very much a narrative based game. Do I do anything? I guess you skip it. Okay. Uh, a rare fr a, a rare achievement, a friend indeed. Okay, you just have to beat it. That's not hard. I guess most people just bought this, played the base game. It's interesting how like only 10% of people played that. You don't have to do anything special for it. All right, well, that's the signal. Uh, like I said, about an hour. I forget how much this retailed for. Probably $10. You know, back in the day, they had the Microsoft Point system. Um, but, you know, back then for $10, that was a good deal. Today, not so much, right? Like, it is, again, it was for people who were really into it. So, 